Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Trollmaker. This is Wargame Airlane Battles Clash of the Clans 2 4 e 4 tournament. And we have a match today between two teams who are in fact in the loser's bracket. This is all or nothing for them. They have everything to lose here as if they are kicked out of the tournament. That's it. There's no loser's loser's bracket. This is it. This is the final match for one of these teams. And so playing as the blue NATO player, we will have CM9. And their opponents playing as the red pack players, we will have the WUT, the Watch Clan. For CMI, we have Camel, Nexel, Bagnioski, and Grober. And for the red pack WUT clan, we have Captains, Tershak, Zukodim, and Flappy. Nice names all around. Uh, so this map plays in one of two ways, usually. The first is the early lead advantage. And so, very simple concept. You get five commands between four players. Boom, boom, boom. Grab those bases along with your two here, and you get an early lead. You can still fight for all three points, but you get an early lead in the points total. That could sustain you overwhelmingly. And you can eventually form defensive positions and break a lot of these positions. It puts it puts a lot of pressure on the other team to do some pretty extreme stuff. And it gives you a, a nice little strategic advantage. The other way this works out, and this is becoming more and more popular, is to grab these one point bases here, both of them. And then you get a closer rally point. And by doing this, it means that in your first engagement, you will have a numbers advantage because... Both sides will get consistent equal income for the entire game. So the person who has more further closer units will gain a serious advantage in position. And by being able to secure these two one point bases and neutralizing this middle one point base, it means that they will gain a two point advantage over the length of the game. It also gives them a strategic window into these two point bases here and here, and here, and uh, here. Yes, uh, this map is, um, I think it's called Christendom, something like that. It's, it's, a, it's one of the more popular 4 e 4 maps, that's for sure. And uh, let's see what the command count looks like so far. We have one. Oh, too late. It's in fact time to go. Now, of course, our standard openers will in fact be our Napalm Bombers. We have one here, a Mirage, which of course does have some A, a weaponry here as well. And we have two Yaks, which do not, of course. And um, there's some moderate differences in how people handle this. Uh, some people like to put the Yaks up front because they're very cheap. Some people like to put these up front, these AA weaponry, uh, just try and prevent this. And so one napalm bomb will in fact go off here, and we have two yaks. Now the idea here is you want them to be along the road. So this is a good point right here, because there's ledges here. They're very hard to climb. And the second one, of course, will be on the road, so that if your vehicles actually go through it, they go through two layers of fire. Very, very good. Now we have some artillery being used right away. The garage are going to try and stun in place a lot of units here. And overwhelmingly gets a miss. Not really timed all that well. Maybe they have to watch this replay after the fact and realize like oh that timing was a bit off could have been amazing but it wasn't and in fact Sienema will in fact get through this fire and as i recall i'm pronouncing their name wrong it's not siemna it's got a t sound to it so tiemna right i think that's this choosing these emx 10 rc s8 for the french vehicle they are uh, they have a tank destroyer on them so they will be able to do pretty good and this is a pretty Massive line of tanks here, actually, and I wouldn't be surprised if WUT is doing uh, somewhat of an all-in. They do have a command just sitting here. It has been spotted, of course, and will be available to be killed. Oh, artillery is firing on the location. The command will try to move around a bit and might be moving itself to a place that's a little more vulnerable. As I said, reinforcement advantage is clear. Now, uh, on our second flank here, just looking really quickly. Oh, Things didn't go so well here. Looks like lots of tanks destroyed. A full retreat is being called, and this position is completely defended. And in fact, most of their stuff is cleared out. They only have four tanks left and three 
AA. That is not good compared to the number of forces here and the quick reinforcement point advantage here. Murder Roll and Tooley being rallied in just to kill off this one vehicle. And here comes a Yak trying to soften up a little bit below, but no, it turns around last minute. In the middle location, pretty solid location here. Uh, there are lots of infantry stages in, in these facilities here, unfortunately. And similar near over here, so not too shabby for both players. The big battle here, however, rages on. And this is realistically one of the big battles that will decide everything. Because this is just so many tanks. If these tanks can't break this, they're in trouble. They're in a lot of trouble. Because you can't just lose a lot of tanks like this. And already it's starting to look really bad. U.S. Marines are moving around in the swampy area here. Getting a nice little side shot. It might be able to kill off a lot of units here. Motos, Cherokees, and bnt 2s All the tanks are in full retreat except this single T-64 from the captains. It will in fact stick around. The command did in fact go down. So that's absolutely brutal. And this is, this is going bad. This is going really, really bad. Now, no, no score change here. The command was lost. There's a two-point base caught here by uh, WT. The one-point base is here to neutralize that. And basically, both teams are getting out their extra commands at the same time. Got one coming here. We got one coming here. And then we have one here coming here and one coming here. Those re quick reinforcing points definitely paying off. And... Just not able to capitalize on any of those positions, unfortunately, at WT. Now, the tank battle is still raging on for some reason. I, I, I would have thought they'd pull back, but it looks like they're going to get a few more pot shots off at some of these infantry before they do so. Has a Spetsnaz here for completely and only for vision. And it looks like it could actually go down the number of shots it's taking here. That's right, it's T64 taking shots. Poor little T64. Little does he realize that those infantry, he can just step on them. He can just walk over those infantry. But to the last, here comes an entire group of new infantry. Some more. Actually, it's not new, new infantry. It's just they run near their. They completely burn through their heat rounds. That's brutal. Uh, that's a lot of damage that T64 has taken so far. And if he can continue doing this, he might be able to rank up to. Uh, he has already actually full 5 vetted. Pretty sick. Now, if he can save that tank by pulling it back and trying leveling up more. All five vetted. Dear God. The survivors of that attack were all fully vetted. That is absolutely crazy. Uh, Osa going to get some artillery fire here. Pretty brutal. 50% damage on two of them. One more volley should actually be pretty close to doing it. And he's going to move his Osa back as well. And now, what is in a lot of trouble? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. So, <laughs> this like has gone terribly. Oh, this is the worst possible situation. So not only uh, did they lose the main battle, but they lost so much that TM and I looked at this and said like, well, you know what? I just killed like 20 tanks, so I'm pretty sure you have no tanks behind enemy lines. And they didn't, I, I'm guessing there's no real recon here. They didn't just kind of sneak forward and be like, you don't have anything. They just said like, I'm pretty sure you don't have anything. And they just, great little strategic play of grabbing this location. And this is brutal. This is one of the more brutal things in the tournament. This two-point base cannot be captured by the command. However, see, I'm not going to capture it. Look at how many forces they have protecting this. They can absolutely grab this position. This is really brutal. And now we see some points taking up pretty heavily here from Siemna as they are able to just clean up this area. There's only 14 Motostroki at Spetsnaz. There are some cluster bombers coming in to try and do some damage. Ugh, not quite good enough. They need to... Ooh, this is bad. This is really bad for WT. They need to get some pretty serious hits in. They need to get cluster bombs that kill stuff. That's one big thing. Lots of vehicles, lots of infantry. That'll help them a ton. They need perfect artillery shots, killing infantry every single time. They need to win the air battle. That's absolutely important. And they need to be able to push back, and that's going to be a big problem. Like I said, it's static income, so they both have the exact same disadvantage. But um, they have to get some pretty silly wins and right now they're throwing away a lot of jet fighters in exchange for some cheapy tank kills and currently not paying off as they're losing air superior fighters left and right here comes another yak a yak attack might try and go for the woods again uh, gets fire on this chief and one of them moves away one is stunned in place should be able to get away as well um yeah pretty brutal and this location is completely secure. They can probably grab a command here. They have commands everywhere else right now. And uh, these guys are just being relentless. They have calls for defense and attack everywhere. They're not they're not slowing down because they have a plus six, an unprecedented, completely unprecedented in this tournament. Not even no unit has had 
a plus six lead in this tournament. This is ridiculous. Um, of course, they grab the middle base, they'll get a plus seven. They're ridiculous. Very much ridiculous. And this base completely secure. They could even push in further. That's how sad this is right now. If, who are you, Grover? If, if Grover wanted to, he could just sneak in here, grab this one as well, and make it a plus eight. And I'm pressing into plus eight. These tank battles have been absolutely brutal for WT. Uh, they, they're continuing, of course. There's more tank battles going on. And they just haven't been working out well. This is a really, really good artillery, by the way. Stuns, two tanks, lot stingers, infantry, all this whatnot. Unfortunately, just not a lot of room to capitalize. Here comes a counter artillery, and not really as good, you know? Like, it didn't actually hit anything. B and PT, of course, are going to retreat because there's a couple of hit points left. Um, this one's kind of being brave. Didn't really get the order. We're not attacking anymore, you, sh you should know. B and PT, yes, you're just going to go away now. And, yeah, that's pretty brutal. Uh, speaking of which, not really able to capitalize on this one final position here. This is really the only area that is actually defended by uh, what? Well, in this position here. These tanks have actually been doing pretty good. Lots of fully vetted units here doing very, very well, trying to push in, get some XP, and then move back, and uh, just constantly restocking them, and actually trading pretty effectively. So good on you, Zuko Dim. Uh, speaking of which, um, Looks like we're going to have some eyes coming up here, and with these eyes, he's going to start to realize they don't have a lot. They have very, very little. And in fact, he's going to be in a good position to do a lot of damage very, very soon. Thunderbolt, actually going to go for a command kill. does get it. That is huge. Thanks to the support of these U.S. Marines. Thunderbolt might go away, though. It just might vanish. The MiGs don't have a great turning radius. Might hook a shot in the upswing? No, they do not. In fact... I think he's using these aggressively. Yes, he is. The MiG is coming in to actually fire on units instead of on those nice air units. Big old bombs going to drop. Ah, just didn't do the damage. Maybe the next round will kill them. Here we go, another round of Napalm. And this is how he's got to get back, absolutely. Now, he did get the command here, which is awesome. <laughs> I, I, I completely missed that, by the way. The command here is awesome. Puts him back down to plus four. Great, but uh, yeah, I, I mean, if they can break this position, that's the thing, they can break this position, they can move in here, 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 they can even split off some and go here and here, absolutely possible because they only have two real flanks. If this one, which is a defensive flank, uh, which is it, you know, it's, it's being clobbered pretty, pretty effectively. This Bradley going down without much of a fight. The MPT power. And this bottom flank here, of course, is their other main flank, which is stretched out and pushed forward. So if they could do a little bit of a von Schlieffen here, they'd be fine. But that's a lot to ask right now. And we're at 66% and two-thirds. 66 and two-thirds percent of the scoreboard right now. And uh, just... Nexel trying to make something work here. Nexel and Grover trying to figure out a way to, to break this. Now, of course, they can't straight go into here because there are some tanks covering. So that's one big concern. If they were to smoke this road, they could run across. Of course, they don't know. They don't have the information right now. So they have to throw a recon infantry across here, through here. That ah, worked out pretty well. Now, there is more reinforcements coming in. Not sure if it's intended for this middle base, which, of course, is under heavy heavy attack from these higher heads of helmet which of course are an infantry type oh my god the splits of course splitting in war game air land battle not quite as effective as it was in war game european escalation splitting actually just reduces morale and it's not quite as useful as it used to be the only thing you can really do with splitting is uh and this is kind of effective you can distribute your infantry Cinder, so they're less likely to get killed by artillery. And this is a complete pullback. Every single vehicle here is running away, trying to kite back these MD Jupiters, which of course are just realistically there to soak some damage. Not really worth anything at all. And that position is going to be taken as well. I'm kind of surprised that this one point base hasn't been taken yet by um, CM9. They've been pretty consistent with taking their bases. And here's the big push. Like when you have a lot of heavily vetted vehicles, you can do crazy stuff like this. And he's pushing through. Uh, lots of helicopters here supporting, not a lot of vehicles left, not a lot of resistance. Continuing to push through, the score is plus 6, however, and that's pretty brutal. And this base somehow is still under their control. 
as these vehicles continue to push in. There's not really much for AA here. The AA is all back here. The Tunguska is the Osa. They need to be brought up before this Cobra does too much reign of chaos. And all the tanks are pretty much gone. It's just BMPTs right now. There goes one of the commands. Now keep in mind, there is a forward one here. So that kind of covers that base. And uh, yeah, it's really unfortunate for a Zuko Dim that the other flight couldn't have done so. Couldn't have gone as well because if if this push was tied into a great southern effort, we probably could have just won this. This is a really phenomenal push. Able to get in, took a lot of damage, but also done, did done. They did insanely high amounts of damage. Now here comes some makes trying to fire on that Cobra. Of course, they could have just used these AA vehicles which you had at the bottom here, decided not to. And there's lots of AA in the woods here, stage in the woods that can get wiped out eventually. But once again, the game is pretty well over. Pretty solid up here by Zuka. Did really, really good push. Really great Michaeling getting these guys up to their five vets and see then going for this big push. Great tactical play on their part. Uh, but unfortunately, it just wasn't enough. This southern push was just absolutely brutal, painstaking, destructive, and there wasn't much they can do about it. Um, considering that they went for this pretty well all tank ball, that was a pretty, pretty big mistake strategically. Uh, so yeah, pretty short game, and uh, I. I don't know how else to describe it. Slam! Oh!